Hi, I'm Kumar. Hope you are doing good. Uh, this video basically covers my blog, uh, which is new SQL ID, which doesn't mean that hard parsing or new execution planning in the instance. So uh, we are going to, you know, cover this topic, which purely concentrates on whenever a new SQL ID is found for the same query, even when uh, the query is available in shared pool. What is exactly happening at the background? How can we see? Uh, whether the query is undergoing this hard parsing or whether how do we identify whether the optimizer is giving a new execution plan or not so that's what we are going to see in this video and uh, the complete uh, scripts whatever are the queries but that I'm using in the throughout the video is also available in the blog you can find it there so to start quickly demonstrating for this I would be logging into my server through putty session and let us start demonstration so I have connected to one of the database instances which is in my server. Uh, the database instance is ORADB here. And we are going to start up with the example that you already uh, might have seen in the blog. The example uh, with running a very simple query. And let us capture the SQL ID hash value of that uh, query and also what is the plan hash value. Hopefully from my earlier blog you must have understood uh, how these values are generated and what are these values exactly. Now we are going to uh, use them in the uh, demonstration now to see whenever you when w at what stages you get the new SQL ID and whenever you see a new SQL ID do you expect a hard parsing happening in the database or not that's what we are going to see here so for this I have a very simple query with me and uh, let us run that query uh, I'll be using the Scott schema as you see on the screen uh, Scott schema department table and I'm going to rec uh, fetch only one output from this query and this is the output that you have got now for this query, let us see SQL ID hash value and plan hash value of this query from v$SQL. So I have this query, let me run it. So you can clearly see this is the SQL ID and this is the hash value of this SQL ID and then this is the plan hash value that your uh, optimizer has defined to run this particular uh, query which you see on the top. So this is the plan hash value is also called as execution plan value. So uh, this is where, uh, this is the uh, identical information that you find in the library cache for each and every execution plan that your optimizer defines. So what we will do now is let us do some small modification to the SQL that we run. What is that small modification? So instead of lowercase cot dot department I just use uppercase cot dot department and run the same query without modifying the logic. When I say without modifying the logic and even the white spaces that means the query output will be always one and the same. Now let us redefine or uh, recheck this. What is this uh, value of it? You can clearly find there is a new SQL ID generated for the same output that we expected. See, the output for this query is the same as the output here. So because we have changed the uppercase to lowercase and lowercase to uppercase, whatever you do, you see a new SQL ID generated for that query and also a new plan hash value. But what is common that you see for both the cases plan hash value is one and the same. What does it mean? Because the plan hash value is already existing in the memory for this particular query that it has executed, your optimizer has reused the same plan hash value though you have modified the query. So this clearly shows us that even though you do certain modifications, whether adding a blank space or whether moving an uppercase to lowercase or lowercase to uppercase without doing the logical changes or filtering changes inside the query, your optimizer is intelligent enough to reuse the same execution plan which is already existing in your library cache. So this clearly tells us that the query is not undergoing a hard parsing when we modified the lowercase to uppercase and then executed it. So the plan hash value as it is remaining same though it will clearly help us to understand that your query though you see a new SQL ID for the same query which is already existing in the uh, library cache you do not see any new execution plan generated by the optimizer. Now to understand this much better let us actually flush our uh, shared pool and then let us rerun the same query and see the output here. So I would say alter database flush shared pool and then I would rerun the query. So sorry for that it is alter system flush shared pool so this is the one 
so once I flushed it uh, let me check here as soon as I check this one I should not find anything because V dollar SQL will become empty when I uh, flush the shared pool because V dollar SQL is the one that will go and get the SQL informations from your library cache in the shared pool so now let me rerun this query so I ran this query again and let me see what is that you can see on the screen do you see any change in the SQL ID generated by the database no this is what I have explained in my earlier blogs if you can find and the hash value is always related to the SQL ID and see the beauty here the plan hash value because the query was not existing in the library cache after we flushed out now you can expect that it has undergone hard parsing to define this plan hash value which is now existing in the library cache so as soon as we flush the shared pool yes when we ran this query there was hard parsing to define this plan so the plan value will be the same uh, even before flushing out because there are no structural changes inside the object uh, that is cod.department so now let us again rerun the same query with uppercase cod.department and see the value of the output yes the same value and now check this uh, SQL ID hash value it is very same to what we have seen before we flushed this shared pool so this clearly tells us that you know plan hash value is the one that is that doesn't only tell us whether it is undergoing hard parsing or not why plan hash value was the same value before we flushed out the shared pool and it is uh, the same value after we rerun the same uh, you know query in the database that means when the plan hash value is already existing inside the library cache and you rerun the same or similar query with small you know text level modifications then do not consider that database is undergoing uh, sorry database is performing a hard parsing for that SQL statement your optimizer is the one if it is defining a new execution plan for the query then you have to consider that the query is undergoing hard parsing else it is clearly saying us that it is not creating a new execution plan it is reusing the same execution plan though you see the SQL ID and hash values are different and at this point you might be uh, getting some questions on the plan hash value how it is at what scenarios you will see a different plan hash value for the same query even the same SQL ID and same hash value of a query can have different plan hash values at different instances that particular uh, logic I'll be coming up with the next blog